Hello there everyone. My name is Ryan Saminomi so John Doe right here in Japan. Alright. So we're gonna talk about something here that needs to be talked about and needs to be broken down. Alright? We're gonna get into these um Japanese nationalist and Japanese right wing. Now, if you're from a Western country or from the West, you need to understand something first, right? Now, these two groups are not the same groups. Although they often intermingle, they're very different, okay? Uh, let's get a bit of historical perspective so we can understand these two groups, right? Now, first of all, the Japanese nationalist, okay? Now, nationalist in Japan equals uh, something called um, Uyuku Dentai, all right? And those Japanese nationalist. Now they their basic ideology is to be strictly against any type of communist. Okay, they're against all leftist thought. Um, their main goal is to uh, destroy any type of uh, leftist ideology or communist ideology in Japan. Uh, they're strictly against any type of social programs. Uh, if you even mention the word socialism to them, they freak the hell out. And often they don't even know, at this point, what socialism really is. Because there's a difference between social programs and actual socialism. But they're completely against that, right? They're in 100% support of um, the most extreme forms of capitalism. They're often known to uh, drive around in these blue, sometimes black vans waving around um, the Japanese Navy flag which is synonymous with the um, imperialist Japan and yeah that's what they do right they hold these uh, big huge rallies at times usually at train stations uh, sometimes they drive around in vans just screaming and shouting at people yeah you know I've had a few run-ins with those nationalists yeah they don't like me you can tell obviously look look at me in this video, they don't like me. I've had a few run-ins with them, some few arguments, uh, a couple of physical altercations in the past. Yeah, they don't want to listen to anything, right? Um, they're known also to show up at like um, on like a national holiday or something when people are trying to enjoy themselves in a park or something like that, and they just start screaming at people, right? Berating people, right, for enjoying themselves, right? For actually being a human. Because it's not capitalist enough for them. Yeah, things like that, right? Now let's get into the right wing. Now the right wing in Japan is often considered to be a cult. Right? They're considered to be highly dangerous. Now their color, well the nationalists adopt the color blue, with blue jumpsuits and things. The, the uh, right wing adopts the color white. The color white in Japan is a little bit different because it's Asia as opposed to the color white as it's uh, identified often in the West. The color white in Japan is not necessarily connected with purity. It's often uh, associated with originality. What we mean by that is original thought or original intent as being um, real Japan. Okay. I mean, uh, as being a uh, wit of the people or something like that, right? Which is a complete, utter BS, right? Now, the right wing is a highly violent group in Japan. They've been known to carry out attacks on people who look too Western, or Japanese people. Uh, they've been known to um, show up at leftist rallies and start screaming at people in a highly violent manner, uh, gather their little white trucks, and try to provoke violence. Oftentimes they're in league with the police who encourage and back it up because the police in themselves in Japan are a cult because they have zero oversight in Japan and they have over a 95% um, conviction rate alright so they're the na and then police in Japan are nationalized which means they're under direct control of the, of the Japanese government there's no such thing as local police all right, so those are the two groups, right? Nationalist and the right wing. I right, know. Let's look at some material conditions that surround these two groups. Okay, the nationalists first. 
In Nashville, in Japan, um, typically will berate people for supporting leftist ideas, which they often confuse with liberal ideas, which are two completely different idealism, right? They also will go against their own people, right? While Japanese people are focusing on trying to be human and trying to survive uh, the economic insanity, which is capitalism, the, the nationalists don't listen to the people. They keep preaching that if you dare to collectivize in any shape or manner, if you attempt to do something which is not for profit, you're bad. And you're not supporting the interests of Japan. Right? That's a material condition. Another material condition of the nationalist, okay? While, and this is something true of the right-wingers as well, we'll put them in the same group here, while they attempt to what they call purify their country domestically, they, at the same time, are in complete, total support of the U.S. government and the U.S. military. Anytime any one of their so-called leaders steps out of line and um, goes against America in any way, shape, or form, it's disavowed, attacked, criticized, and beat down. But, if one of those so-called leaders says something which will benefit the domestic agenda of the nationalists and right-wingers, they will defend it ardently, right, to the end, even in the face of obvious contradiction and evidence okay so at one point in one hand they browbeat the population domestically into their ideology and their way of thinking they won't really go against the real problem the real problem being that Japan is a puppet of the United States Empire the nationalists, as well as the right-wingers, view this as an advantage. They view American protection due to the continuing occupation of Japan, military bases from the United States, Navy and um, Army, as giving them carte blanche to bully their Asian neighbors. They act very belligerently to their Asian neighbors. Number one reason being, they have America on, the American Empire on their side, and all these other co Asian countries do not, do not want a direct military confrontation with America, so they can act belligerently and say crazy, crazy shit, basically. They can bully their Asian neighbors instead of cooperating with their Asian neighbors. And uh, Shinzo Abe, who is also a nationalist, has displayed this very clearly. You know, allowing his ministers to visit Yoshuni Shrine, praising the emperor openly at um, parliament meetings, things like that. That's going on, right? Now, let's look at some of their major contradictions. Some of their major contradictions are this, right? Number one, they are not listening to their own population. They're often going against their own population for their own agenda. Instead of asking what Japanese people want from their society and the real issues facing Japan, they often go against their own people and telling the Japanese people what they're going to believe and instead of listening to the Japanese people. Most Japanese people are extremely hungry for change. They tire of this, right? But yet through questionable election processes and through playing on people's fears of an uncertain future these groups continue to gain political power in Japan and continue to control things domestically through lies propaganda playing on people's fears instead of facing the real issues they they want to paint Japan as being a perfect country where nothing bad ever happens. That's not true. You have a massive nuclear issue in this country. You have massive 
electoral problems in this country. You have massive freedom of press problems in this country. You have extreme economic problems in this country due to capitalism. But they don't want to deal with that. They only want to serve this agenda of gaining power and pushing down people's throats a reality which is not true in this country. They want to tell people how things are going to be instead of listening to the people and finding out what the real material conditions are in this country. The real material conditions in this country are not what these nationalist and these cultist right wing paint it as. What the people in Japan want is a more human social structure. What the Japanese people are begging for time and time again is an end to the imperialist hierarchy which continues to infect this country. What the Japanese people want is a more social connection between their job and their life. The Japanese people are not all that concerned with profit if you actually talk to them. Japanese people are more concerned with trying to live as human beings, survive all of this, instead of being told what they should be and who they should be. As sadly, the population has been browbeaten so harshly that they really have no choice at this point but to give in to the interest of capitalism and the interest of fascism. So go ahead, nationalist boys and right-wing boys, go ahead and attack this video. Call me a stupid kid. Call me uneducated. By the way, I'm a grown man. And I live and work in this country every day, just like you. So I know what's going on. But what you're going to do is sit there and say a bunch of insane, crazy lies and garbage and try to get me to react to a American nationalism, which I don't believe in nationalism at all. So to try to put anything, well, America does this, America does that, doesn't work on me, friends. So have fun with this video. Have fun coming after me. Till next time, this is me, Ryan, here in Japan, checking out.